next race on the track, the women's 1500 meters world record holder, Hu Xinjia of China. Best time in the world this year by Violeta Zichelli of Romania, and she has been hot, winning everything in sight. But her main competitor has been Susie Faber-Hamilton of the U.S., and Faber-Hamilton definitely has a plan in mind for 2001. Coming over to Europe, my plan was, in every race I run, I want to make the medal podium. And so far, I've been able to do that. And I've been able to stay injury-free, which is key for me. And I just feel really confident knowing that my training's going well, I'm injury-free, I'm enjoying myself. I think that builds the confidence so you can be more aggressive in races. And I just feel like I have nothing to lose, I have everything to gain. So I'm just having the time of my life and seeing what I can do. But there's no doubt I'm running against some tough competition. And, and Zykali, for one, the Romanian that I compete against, is running extremely well and she's extremely tough right now. This is Gorolova from Russia. I mentioned Favor Hamilton. She's got to try and get the speed work down, I think, Dwight. The kick is lacking here, and this is the woman who has really done it. Wearing the yellow bib of the leader of her event in the hunt for the 50 kilos of gold is Violetta Zakeli of Romania, number 25. She's got great speed. It's still at age 36. They've asked that the rabbit Natalia Duknova take out the pace in 63 seconds for the first 400 and then 206 at the 800 and then throw in a sub 60 second third lap. It'll be interesting to see if she can actually do that. That amazes me. I don't under, I've never seen that in one of these meets where they, the pace doesn't stay at least even, but that it actually accelerates so dramatically in a 1500 or mile race. I don't understand that. I don't know. Well, we've already seen a very quick women's 800 meters where Mutola had the best time in the world in 2001 and several women with personal best. And there's Duknova, as you can see, on the outside there. And see exactly how close to those predicted times she is able to hit and, more importantly, how closely the pack follows behind her. That's really true. And, they, you know, the 206, they should be there, I would suspect. But it's after two laps will they stay for the third. They may get out their binoculars and tell her to keep going. We'll see. Duke Nova does have some international experience. She, from Belarus, was seventh in Atlanta, has run 157.2 for 800 meters, so she certainly has the strength. Gorilova of Russia in second, and Zakeli, number 25, tucked in there nicely in third. Susie Faber Hamilton currently running in fifth. Gorilova in second place is the bronze medalist this year from the World Indoor Championships, a very tough runner. And if they run right on four minutes, that's the equivalent of a 417 slash 418 mile, depending on how fast they're finishing the race. But that's how fast a mile these women are running. There you have the split, faster than they would have expected. 61 seconds, basically, for the first 400 meters. They were hoping for 63 seconds. Remember, cars drafted Indianapolis, and they do in racing on two legs as well. Notice everybody running Indian file. You want the leader to push the breeze aside a little bit and save yourself some energy. So it's still Duknova of Belarus leading through. Gorilova, second. Then Zakeli, Then Carla Sacramento, former world champion in the bandana. And then Susie Faber Hamilton coming up on Sacramento's right shoulder. You can't miss Hamilton. She has the sunglasses on. Susie has run 3.58 on this track. Going back historically, her second fastest time of all time. First and place she ever broke four minutes, as a matter of fact. That's correct. And it's a very solid pace. One of the ways to tell here, it may slow down at 2.06 here. The leg turnover looks to me to be a little slower. And this lap's going to be like 67 or 66 or 68, something like that. Here they're coming up to 800 meters. Well, they certainly overcompensated. They wanted 206. They got 208.3. So now it's a matter of can Duke Nova throw in that sub 60 second lap. They sort of took a breather on lap number two, but the players remain the same. It's Duke Nova followed by Gorolova, then Zakeli, Sacramento, and Susie Faber Hamilton, and then in sixth that is Moraguri of Kenya. If any of you out there run 10Ks or 5Ks, imagine running a very hard first mile running much slower for the second and then really stepping on the accelerator for third. That's what this group is doing. And the way I described that, 60 seconds, 61, 67, and now trying to drop the time down for the third lap, very hard to do. So Duknova was only supposed to go for 1,000 meters. She did so. And now it's Natalia Gorilova of Russia, the 28-year-old, reading them through with just a lap to go. 
and we'll see if she went ahead and tried to speed up the pace as it's now Gorlova, Zakelli, Sacramento, and Susie Favor Hamilton. That is the group of four. Susie in a good position to strike. Sacramento was behind her a week ago, and this pace is solid. They went by about with a lap to go in about two minutes and 57 seconds. They're running well. This may well be under four minutes for 1,500 meters. Well, they certainly do have done it in a schizophrenic way. Gorlova still leading. Zakelli right in position like she likes to be. Now Susie Faber Hamilton has moved past Carla Sacramento. It's going to be a sprint to the finish as it has been in the previous Golden League meets. Susie trying desperately to stay right up with Zakelli as they turn with 100 meters to go. Here's where Zakelli usually has great sprint speed. Hamilton closer than she's been all season in Europe. And it is Zakelli on the outside, or actually inside of lane two, going by Gorolova. And Susie Faber Hamilton certainly will be in the top three, but third place is what she'll get. And they just get under four minutes. Fastest time in the world in, 19, in 2001. Zakelli already had it. Now she has it under four minutes. She wins another Golden League stop and further solidifies herself as a favorite for the gold in Edmonton in just a few weeks. Susie Hamilton, Faber Hamilton, has got to be happy. I think she was in great position, Dwight. Uh, she seemed to have more spring in her stride down the back stretch in the last lap of all the golden meets we've done with Susie Faber Hamilton. She was closer with 100 to go, within striking distance, and this is far and away her best race. And Zakelli does pull away here to run a superb time, one of the very best she's ever run. Official results of that women's 1,500 meters, two women under four minutes for the first time in 2001. 36-year-old Olympic silver medalist Violetta Zakelli continuing to dominate. Gorlova second. Susie Faber-Hamilton improves her season best, four flat, point 38.